Hey there everyone, Philcho here and welcome to my channel. Today we will be covering all of the things that are new in Stardew Valley for the calendar. Basically, all the new festivals and events that are happening around the valley in all of the seasons. And just a heads up for everyone, this is gonna be a spoiler filled video, so if you don't want to be spoiled, just stop watching and go along and watch another video. So now I'll be opening the calendar and we'll be seeing which events are happening in the spring season. Starting off, we can see a lot of different items here and we're gonna start from the general ones that we already know and that is the 13th is the Egg Festival and the 24th is the Flower Dance. But a day before that and a day after the Flower Dance, there's a new thing in town and that is the Bookseller. The Bookseller is a seller that comes to the valley in a hot air balloon and he sets up shop above the Jojo Mart. When you interact with the seller, you open up this little menu and he is Marcelo, Marcelo's book at your servers. You can find Combat Quarterly, read this book to gain some combat experience, Woodcutters Weekly, Foraging Experience, Mining Experience, Treasure Appraisal Guide, you will fetch a better price when selling artifacts, Way of the Wind, you run a little bit faster. So you get a lot of these things like Price, Queen of the Sauce cookbook. Learn any Queen of the Sauce that you don't already know. Price catalog, you can now see the value of your items. So basically, for example, uh, you don't know what the value is for this, but if you use this book, you can see what the sale price is on the different items that you already have. And that book will go here in the menu of special items and powers. I already have this. So there's a little hand that says that I already learned this. And also you can trade in the books that you already have for items that are useful. For example, this is the book of the stars. Pepper poppers for Starry Valley Almanac. If you've already used the book, and you don't need it anymore, you leveled up your profession to the max, you can just trade them in here for different items that are quite useful. So the bookseller happens two days per season. So in every season, uh, they appear in different days, so you can get some nice books from there. And another thing is the desert festival happening on the 15th, 16th and 17th. So this festival will be mostly unreachable to all of the newer players out there because they won't have the bus repaired. So this is a festival that I think that you always reach towards the second year in your playthrough. To get to the desert festival, you need to go to the bus stop. And from there onwards, just use the bus to get to the desert. One neat little thing that was added in this patch is, if for any reason, Pam doesn't get to the bus stop in time, she will leave a message that will say you can drive yourself to the desert. This is how the desert festival looks like. The ooh, midnight beach double bed, dark piano, nice, but 999 coal, that's not happening mate. Let's check here, mystery box, mommy mask, blue bow, dark velvet, mega bomb, strawberry seeds, pumpkin soup, sun dunes, Calico eggs. You get them for Calico eggs. Oh, hey there, Faro. Welcome to Adventures Guild Challenge Boot. Every day we'll have a pair of challenges for you to choose from. Complete one, and the guild will reward you with a bounty of Calico eggs. Once you've selected the challenge, you won't be able to change your decision. So choose carefully. Deep dive. Reach level 30 of the Skull Cavern for 50 Calico egg. Okay, let's like. We're gonna try that as well. Catch three sandfish. So there's a challenge even for that. Oh yes, I'm very pleased to hear that. I would like to make you a very special dish. Something may... Okay, yes. Very good. Now, what will we have? Hearty beans, cave low, rare fruit. The rare fruit. Excellent choice. Now, what kind of sauce? Mushroom cream as always. Okay, <laughs> that's weird. I think... That's gonna give us a buff for a challenge. So mining and 3 plus luck. Okay, nice. Okay, before we continue, let me visualize your aura to see what kind of style will make you the happiest. I really can't wait to see myself as well. Uh, no, bring me back my suit. <laughs> Look at this though. I'm a dinosaur now. I don't race kid, we can talk later. Okay. 
So maybe there's gonna be a secret here as well. That look in your eyes says, I need a cactus or I'm gonna burst. Yes? That's alive. I'm afraid. Guess I'm gonna receive some fabulous prizes. King Sting, Cactus Crawler, or Speed Rooster. Let's go with King Sting. Sit back and enjoy the race. When is it gonna start, though? Mine is King Sting. Go, King Sting, go! Go! Run! N run! Come on! The blue ones are better, come on! King Sting, no! Calico Egg and Mysterious Calico Statues have appeared throughout the caverns. So basically, the Calico Eggs are found on the ground, so... Further down you go, this little number improves your like way to find calico eggs, but uh, this is the statues that in no effect. Okay, plus one on that. So more the more statues you activate, uh, you're gonna get like higher penalties, but your uh, number for like chance for on finding calico eggs will increase. I'm gonna interact with him. And I got 25 calico eggs. Okay, so she sells things that she already sold basically, but now she also sells the woodcutter wick. Oh, wait, this is a guy that I haven't met. Greetings, friend. Care for a test of knowledge. If you can answer my questions correctly, you, you'll earn a yes. First question Who runs the museum in Pelican Town? Gunter. Question What does garlic grow in? What season does garlic? That's uh, spring. In what season can you catch carp? Well, wasn't it any season? Where might you catch the stonefish? Ooh, stonefish, stonefish. That was level 20. Uh, very good. I'm impressed with your knowledge, friend. Here is your prize. 50 calico eggs for a quiz? That's good. And there's a lot more things happening, like uh, Shane uh, sells things here in his own shop, which is quite nice. And Demetrius also sells stuff here, which is really quite nice. 100 speed grow? Oh, one per... Okay, never mind. Okay. Just pick a racer and then the next race will be a real stinker. Catch my drift? Oh, yes. Let's go with the speed rooster. You can rig the races? Like, come on, concern name. Wow. No, no way. Let me check. I'm gonna go again. Let's see if that prediction will come true. Like, I asked the guy to rig it, so this will be the slowest one, but we'll see now. Well, it works. It works. So, but mine didn't win, so that's nonetheless. But that's it for the Desert Festival. There's a lot more stuff incoming, so keep your eyes peeled for the next festival. Let's go! In the summer season, we're met by the following festivals. For starters, it's always the Luau on the 11th, another bookseller visit on the 12th and on the 27th. On the 28th, we have the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies, but in between, we have smaller festivals which are the Trout Derby. The Trout Derby is held in the Cinder Sap Forest and there's a lot of new people that are coming here to fish. Welcome to the Trout Derby, what can I do for you? Explanation. During this event, Rainbow and Trout have a chance of carrying a golden tag. If you find, find one, turn it in here for a prize. So if you catch a Rainbow Trout, it will also have a golden tag. Well, it will have a chance of having a golden tag. And you can get rewards from the person here. And the reward is a tent kit. Use this to play a one-time use tent for sleeping. Can only be used outdoors. Basically, the first prize gets this. And afterwards, you'll get random items from him. So, it's quite a nice event that happens for like for two days. And that's all we have for the summer season. Next up is the fall season. In the fall season, we have the following festivals. On the 8th and on the 22nd, we have a bookseller coming to town. On the 16th, we have the Stardew Valley Fair, and on the 27th, we have the Spirit's Eve. But in between, we don't have any new festival, sadly. And lastly, we have the winter season. In the winter season, we have the following festivals. On the 5th and on the 19th, we have the Bookseller. 
On the 8th, we have the Festival of Ice, as always. On the 15th to the 17th, we have the Night Market. And on the 25th, we have the Feast of the Winter Star. On the 12th and on the 13th, we have the Squid Fest. The Squid Fest is held from the 12th to the 13th of every winter, so basically it lasts two days. You can go to the beach and you can see like you have to catch squids in order to get prizes. Squid Chef, oh no, my man just here for the bulk squid prices. So you can just explanation. In Squid Fishing Challenge, if you can hit uh, our daily catch targets, you will win prizes. Check the sign to the left. We also put special bait in the water so the squid are active all day. So two squids, copper, five silver, seven gold and ten iridium. That's a lot, but still, like, you can handle it, I think, what's with the lantern in broad daylight, though. Overall, it's quite nice to see all these new festivals added to the game, and I think that it's quite an amazing challenge, like, so far, I've loved them all, and whenever I reach, like, some of the festivals in my main playthrough that I'm starting just now, it's gonna be quite nice to see all of the new content, though. But everyone, that's it for today's video. These are all of the new festivals and events that are added to the 1.6 update. You can also check them out for yourself in your own playthroughs. But which is your most favorite festival now that you've seen all of the added festivals that are in the 1.6 update? Let me know down below. And as always, if you like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in my next one, but till then, stay safe!